be able to see. Fat little turkey. All right, morning, morning. So you couldn't see where we camped last night, so I thought I would grab a little clip for you. It's like 6.30. Um, Parsons Creek, or Parsons Spring, is down switchbacks that way. Um, really active night last night. So like, woke up at, I don't know, 11 o'clock, 12, and there were a lot of hoof prints. There were horses. Yeah, not prints, hoof noises. For like 10 minutes, they were just kind of pitter-pattering close by. And then finally they got close enough that Magpie woke up. And you could see like their silhouette walking by our tent like right here. Um, you could tell this area with, with all the horse poop, there was stuff going on. But yeah, a lot of horses. And then this morning, we got greeted to, might have been the same turkey, honestly. It might have been, I don't know. Who knows? There was this very majestic ruffled feathered turkey announcing its presence to us. I tried to get a clip of it, but the sun was exactly in the wrong angle. Um, a lot of wildlife up here, like a good 400 feet above, 400 feet elevation, um, more than half a mile, trail miles uh, above Parsons. So I would not, rec I would not recommend camping in Parsons. Um, if there's this much activity up here, Parsons must've been something. So yeah, we're slowly moving. Um, had a little turkey say good morning to us, and we're about 16 miles from Klondike. That the way. We're going to just walk that way, see what's in store for us. Eh, I guess it's apt. We're going to Turkey Creek today. Yes? Yes. Yes. Morning, morning. Today is April 27th, I think. 27th or 28th. 27th. 27th, yay. All right, disregard my fingers. Because I'm trying to get you the turkey without the sun. The turkey, there he is, has been doing a turkey dance for us for the past like 30 minutes. We got a nice little morning turkey. <laughs> Weird bird. Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Ooh, I wanna take you to the Santa Rizito Mountains. Didn't. Yeah, it didn't work as well as I thought. I thought the jingle. I had to skip a few lines, and then I also had to improvise, and the words didn't link up. The Santa. Teresa. Ooh, I wanna take you to the Santa Teresa Mountains. Wilderness. Wilderness. Yep, did not work. Nope. But pretty. Cool. Yeah, but pretty. Turkey dance, road, mountains. Yes, it's been 20 minutes. <laughs> Wild horses this morning, too. Yeah, it has been a good day. Still got the brand name on it Admiral. Make a quality product, Admiral. Yeah. Starting to see the makings of a canyon. Man, a Ravapia Canyon would be super cool. But alas, this alternate was pretty stellar as well. All right, so junction time. So this way is the way to go explore Turkey Creek more. We just drop down into here that brings you back up to the original route of the Hey Duke, Aravapia Canyon. It goes to Road. Yes, Aravapia Road. Um, and then cuts across. So from the guidebook, this looks like it lets you explore more canyon. And we're already on this part of the trail. So this sounds more interesting. This sounds like it's road walk and easier. Um, and since we couldn't go through Aravapia Canyon proper anyway, um, going up there doesn't really do anything for us besides walk more road. So we might give this one a, give, give this one a gander. So yeah, from the guidebook, this actually also sounds cooler than the regular route once you pop out of the canyon proper. So yeah, we're going to go explore a canyon 
this way. Little bit of no trail in my life. Little bit of bush whacking by my side. Quickly became schwacky. Yep. At this point, just call me the wash hound. I sniff them out. Um, technically the trail, quote unquote trail, is to our left in that brush. But there's a nice wash right here that parallels what I don't actually think is a trail. It was just cross country and so nice little wash you can walk. Um, definitely keep checking your maps because there's a lot of side canyons around here. But um, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. This is the level of adventure that I really enjoy. Oh, I might get a picture. Look at these massive trees. Pretty sweet. A little bit of canyon life. Oh, beautiful. I can dig it. I can diggity dog dig it. We just hit our first pool slash flowing water um, in this creek about a mile or two into where you junction off of the two track. Um, pretty good water, looks like. So, yeah, there's going to probably be a couple pockets of pools throughout here. So, if you need agua, there's aguas. So even better pools farther up the wash, um, about a mile from, a mile or so from where there's like that big choke point of boulders. Um, you got some pretty good pools. Oh, 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 oh. Yummy, it tastes very yummy too, so A plus. Hello. Hello. Right, so it's really the easy stuff where you make the most mistakes. I tried to step up on that big log and I thought I was clear. My backpack hit that and pushed me right back down the other side. So bent the trekking pole. That's nice. Um, so I'm gonna try to bend it back here real quick. All right, so there was an easy way around this, but it's too fun to pass up. Cause like all these boulders, they can kind of crawl through. So on the right, that way, but, we didn't. but also on the right side of this big rock, yeah, you can go all the way around. There's it. an easy way, but it's too adventurous to pass up. So I'm gonna try to spider monkey my way through that crack. Can't go through this way. You can, but that's also easy. 
So she is also doing the spider monkey. Yeah, the you way that looked easier actually dead ended. You don't have to go super high up on the spider monkey. No, he went all the way up here. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I would recommend against. Oh, that's not solid. This feels dookie dookish. Dook dook. He thought it was gone. It is not. Oh, I'd camp here. Well, it's in a wash, but. Oh, she pretty. Yeah, to get into this, I could go up that rock, but there's no way to get down the other side. Yeah, it's fun. Very fun. Yeah? All right, so I thought this was gonna be a bushwhack, but apparently there's some semblance of two track here. So leave the wash at this fire pit, great directions, but oh yeah, there's even a two track behind her. Um, you'll know when you leave it. Um, check. Yeah, check your GPX files. I thought it was gonna be a pure schwack out of here, but um, looks like we might have this for at least a little bit. Um, so we got about a mile of this or intermingled with Schwack up to another two track. That was a beautiful section. I highly recommend that. Um, granted, we weren't able to do a v -v 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 but yeah. You can do Turkey Creek alternate and also Aravaipa. Yes, what she said, you can. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what the regular route is. It also looked cool, but that was also really beautiful. Really enjoyed that. That's cool. Look at that. Just a gap in the wall. Yeah, I ended up chasing them. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to, but that's how it worked out, yes. Yeah, I ended up chasing them out of the brush. Really pretty. Y'all are just going to have to put up with a lot of 360s on this trail, I have a feeling. Especially once we get into the Santas. Alright, so there's this tank says diesel on it about five miles before Klondike um, I don't know if it's water but honestly you had great water two miles back in the canyon you got water five miles ahead of you in Klondike I wouldn't try to use that even if it is a rain collector um, you could try I did not investigate it um, like I said you got great water a few miles on either side of you so just gonna skip right past that. That might be Klondike down there. Honestly, don't know. There's a couple buildings tucked in the base of that mountain. I think we're like four miles away. Don't know. Maybe. We'll find out. All right. So it is 1220, 1221 to be exact. And we are just connected into Four Mile Canyon Road, which Klondike is two miles down that way. Um, from what the road looks like, it can be pretty cruisy. So should get there a little after one um, because we'd get there at one-ish, but gonna wait on the bow diddly. I don't think she's that far behind. I saw her on the switchbacks. So gonna wait on the bow. Oop, there's some cows crossing the road. Yes, as I was saying, gonna wait on the Bo McDidley, um, and then we're just gonna cruise on into Klondike. Yes, we're gonna beat the heat of the day in there. Awesome. All right, she should be somewhere around here. So a little less than a mile from town, there's Four Mile Canyon, kind of camp spot. 
It's the cow camping area. You could camp here, but Klondike's right up yonder, so you can see the outlines of the building. Um, yeah, privies. There might be water there. Magpie said in the guidebook there was water there. So, um, supposed to be, yeah. Supposed to be. Yeah, supposed to be in actuality. Don't know. But Klondike's less than a mile away, so that's where we go. All right, we are in Klondike. That's the ranger station. So now, we're looking for the general store, which I think is this. Let's go give it a t Nice. Well, this is upsetting. No cold drinks for us. No cold drinks, but there should be a package in the cooler, hopefully out back. Yeah, they said in the guidebook, don't become the most wanted of Klondike. Yeah. So we didn't know where the freezer was and we were getting a little worried out back here. I think they probably got rid of the freezer. Yeah, so the freezer is this wood cabinet. So if you have- Now it's a closet. It's now a it's a freezer. Yeah, so if you have your package sent here, that's where it should be. Super glad that ours are here because it is closed. We can't get cold drinks. So this is our life instead. I'm gonna go check a water spigot here in a second. Um, because it says electric and water we can get here, so. At least we can have some cold water. Yeah, we're gonna take a break in the shade, probably kick it here for two hours. It's not open, unfortunately, but um, at least we got our resupply. Get our resupply broken down and hike into some mountains, maybe. You're cute. My shirt's starting to tear already. Oh, look at, look at how salty she is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brand new shirt. You got some nice salt stains, baby. Smart Wool One or Smart Wool Zero Walmart shirt coming up yeah. in the next town. All right, so we're breaking down our resupply that we sent to ourselves. Um, but I also wanted to point out for all those disbelievers, yes, the spam is still there. I saw that comment. Of course, I'm still carrying the spam. The consistency is oh so right. How do you feel about me carrying the spam still? It's quite an achievement. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. So, Magpies resupply is on the table. Sorry about the lighting, the shade, the camera doesn't really like it with how sunny it is out there. But Magpies resupply on the table. And then this is mine. So we have only about 80 miles to the town of Saffron, but we packed out five days of food because the guidebook even says pack out like six days of food. The guidebook advises that you take six. Yeah, this is apparently like the hardest part of the whole trail coming up. Yeah, but we'll have half a day of hiking once we leave here. Um, so five I'm hoping is still overkill, but it might just be right on the money. So I have cookies, chips, power juices. I've been carrying salt tablets, electrolyte mix, Belvedas, Ritz crackers, chewy bars, Oatmeal cream pies for midnight munch, pepperoni and cheese. It's already sweaty for lunches. Can't eat the spam. This is leftover from my last resupply, actually from the Hey Duke of Athletic Greens. And then one, two, three, four, five, six ramen. So that's about three dinners. And then one, two potatoes and a new bottle of sriracha. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm gonna give you half the band aids. Yes. Why is it so dark? Oh well, trying my best here, folks. So, yeah, gonna be sitting in the shade, enjoying life. Um, store's closed, so we can't have any cold drinks, unfortunately. Yeah, store's closed, so. Just too bad. That's, that's unfortunate. Okay. But we'll sit here, drink some cold water, wait out the heat of the day, and then um, go walk back the trail and just pick away at some miles today. Sweet. All right, so it's actually a little later than we anticipated. So there is water right behind the store. Um, we were sitting in the shade right there and Beth, the owner, came down. So apparently Beth and Dave, Beth and Dave came down um, because I'm assuming they live back in there. And they said they heard us, the sound travels, and that also the one woman we passed in town on the walk in um, had probably gave, probably gave her a call. So they showed up after we'd been hanging out for a little over an hour or somewhere in there. It's like 45 minutes. Yeah, so they were super nice, super friendly. They're like, oh, you got your boxes. I'm like, yeah. So then they're like, you want to sit in air conditioning? And we were like, yeah. Tired. Yeah, why not? So went into the air conditioning and she actually just gave us the Wi-Fi. So we were able to order the Bo Diddleymeister new shoes. That actually are the right 
size because Altra changed their sizing. Yep. And of course, if I had looked, all the online reviews are like, Altra, you changed your sizing. So, so get her new shoes. And we also ordered a new stove because our stove has been on the kaputs for a while since it's getting pretty bad yeah it's last year i should have hiked with my stove from the hay duke because I for, works? yeah i forgot that our, our stove is stripped where it attaches to the um canister and you can still get it on there but it's it's holding on by one thread yeah like every night it makes it harder to like apply pressure and like get a seal on it so we got a stove as well as shoes sent to Safford, Arizona. Expected delivery Monday. Um, we should get there Monday or Tuesday, depending on this section. Um, and then we're also gonna get a ground sheet at Walmart, just something cheap. But also Beth let us know that a hiker had ended up having to hit his SOS button up in the Santa Teresa's because he tried to cut off the, the Grand Enchantment Trail. Um, apparently he didn't, I don't know, I don't know his full story, but apparently he wanted to cut off the loop that you do through here because he'd had enough of that wilderness. There's a, on the map, it looks like there's a trail that cuts off the big circular loop that we do around the tallest mountain. Yeah. It looks like there's a trail that goes to the summit and back down the other side. Apparently it does not exist. It was called... Glen Canyon? Garland Canyon, Garland Corral. Garland Canyon trail number like 67 or something. It's yeah. not a trail, apparently. Don't try to cut off the loop. You if, will get stuck in a boulder field that you cannot safely descend. Yeah. And he ended up having to press his SOS after going only one mile <laughs> in six hours. Yeah, if you also look at the top of lines of where that quote unquote trail is supposed to run through, it it doesn't look like it's possible. So yeah, she gave us some good information. Um, we ate some great burritos. Oh, that, really good burritos. Yeah, didn't even know we wanted. Um, a little microwave pizza. And now we're stepping. It's like 3.30. So thank you, Beth and Dave, so much for doing that. They said they just opened up last year for hikers. Um, and they want to keep on building their, I guess, hiker angel niche reputation. They, they're super stoked about hikers. Super friendly. So. And you could totally resupply at that store if you're not super picky like they don't have a ton of candy or chips or anything but yeah. if you wanted to save yourself a little bit of mailing ahead and like pick up all your dinners there yeah you could do it there's not a ton of variety but they like consulted with hikers and what hikers like to buy and it's like fully just a hiker store in there yeah so also talk to them expensive. about huh it would be a bit expensive but yeah also talk to them about what you prefer as a hiker. They might add it in their store for future hikers. Also, this is in the guidebook that don't end up on the Klondike Most Wanted, which means if you send a resupply box there, please, if you quit the trail or stop or something happens well, don't and you, go to Klondike. or don't go to Klondike, call them because they're just very, very sweet people. And they say they worry when a box is there and nobody showed up. So she actually, <laughs> They, she they, they told us, like we go out looking for vultures. Yeah. And she also told us a story. So there was a box there that had been there for eight months. So she looked at the return address and actually mailed that address like a card saying, hope you're okay. Just wanted to check in. That's how sweet they are. So yeah, um, please call if you don't pick up your box for any reason. But that's a long rant. That's probably the longest monologue I've done on this trail yet. It's like this clip is getting close to five minutes, but a lot of stuff happened. Klondike, very friendly, very friendly. Good information, good company. Full pack of food, full water capacity, uh, and burrito burps. And it's very hot. It's very hot. So, a little last bit of information. We have to walk two and a half more miles this way to connect back to the official route. And then we go into the Santa Teresa's. Little Lego. Interesting installment of decorations. All right, so connecting back into official Grand Enchantment Trail. So we walked right by this gate because of the signage, but just looked at the book. And it said the road skirts private property, but this is the way we want to go. It says the first few hundred 
feet skirt private property, but aren't actually on private property. It's just whoever owns that land, put this, <coughs> put this up. So we go that way. So it's like five o'clock. We're back up at 4,600 feet. Um, as you can see, we're getting closer to that mountain that has been on our horizon all day. Um, about a thousand, a little over a thousand foot climb from uh, town. Um, we did that three miles to connect back into the official trail and then just started climbing. So um, yeah, sitting up at like 4,600 feet, waiting on the magpie. I know she's working through a little bit of hamburger booty. Um, slash chafe and um, she doesn't like to climb so I'm gonna just wait up here for her um, don't really have a set goal today besides we're already above a 20 miler so yeah just gonna keep on cruising until we don't want to cruise no more and I think I just saw her I'm gonna zoom in again there's about to be a colorful dot on your screen in five four three two one Hey, look at that. I actually timed that pretty well. All right, I think here we go. Time to get a little wild up in the Santa Teresa Mountains. Here's the cairn. I think that's the way we go. Sort of a very tiny bit. Every once in a while you see something and you're like, oh, I think that might be some trail. Yeah. Oh wow, there. look at that. That was super weird. Huh. Did you see that? I did. It might have just been a reflection into your uh, girly glass. I think it was a glitch. I've had that happen before. Oh, anyway. Definitely used to be a trail here. Yeah, there might have been a trail here at one point. <clears throat> oh. All right, first half a mile of the trail in the Santa Teresa's is in fact not really a trail. We knew this, um, but yeah, now pop this into the wash. We had to come down this hillside back here and uh, pretty pokey, pretty pokey, pretty slow, but nice to be in the wash. you gonna do here? I don't know. I just put my head on my head. I don't like this thing. No. The rim is too big. I can't wear it. Yes. It's my pack. Mm-hmm. I can't look up while I'm wearing it, which makes it difficult to climb. What'd you do? All we had to do was push through those fir trees. We didn't have to climb all the way up here. Yeah, you took us up and around, baby. This was your fault. Yeah, it was. It was fun. So we could have gone straight along this side. Oh, why is that color getting off? Straight along the side of here, but I decided to go up and around. You didn't see it, did you? I did. Why didn't you tell me? I have two big shoes. I can't go down as easily as you. Yeah, because it was fun. You should tell me before you make a decision like that. Okay. 
Hello. All right, so it has quickly devolved into pretty much a straightforward bushwhack. There's a few cairns every so often. We're in the wrong places. They feel like they're in the wrong places because technically the trail's supposed to be over there somewhere. The cairns led us up here, so. There's nothing there. Yeah, we're just gonna bushwhack across, turn into bushwhack pretty quick. Nope. But I was just following you. Alright, the, tra to to the trail stays in the wash. You can make your life way easier. As much as you're tempted. Magpie, if you let Magpie catch up to you. Baby, I was stopping many times. You never voiced your opinion. Uh, as much as you're tempted to bushwhack up to the top of that ridge line, don't. don't. Do it. Um, top doesn't always mean better. It was a pretty thick schwack back to get to here. So. Yeah, stay in yeah, the wash. Yeah, you're like, I'll save us some elevation gain. I'm like, I don't know. Yep, stay in the wash. Yeah, this is better. That was a thick schwack. So this is reef. How do I get there? What do you mean? It's yeah, so this is reef tank. Um, trail's on the other side over there. So we might go find camp here shortly instead of bushwhacking. Um, not great water. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. All right, it's 6.50 and we are fully set up for camp. Um, as you can see, we're just camped a little bit beyond Reef Tank. The trail continues that way tomorrow. Hold up trail number 69. Um, not really much of a trail. Once again, it's gonna be a pretty swacky attacky. Um, yeah, good day. I think we did anywhere from 21 to 24 miles. I'm gonna double check it, put it in the trail log, um, trip log, and yeah. I don't know, it's gonna be a schwacky time. It's gonna be a very slow time. <laughs> I didn't pan to you. Okay. I can pan to you now. I mean, I'm airing my, uh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm drying out the chafe. <laughs> <laughs> she did multiple angles to get it proper for YouTube. It's not really YouTube friendly. No, she's drying out the chafe. It's not sexy. I'm just covered in salt. Yeah, it's not sexy. It's just no. pure salt stains. Um, salty. yeah. As you can see, pretty good camp. Um, it's in this like little kind of, it's supposed to be a two track, but ain't nobody driving down here. Yeah, um, yeah it's just a nice sandy spot um, to camp. Good camping up here. There would probably been good camping another half mile that way, but with how schwacky it is, half a mile may honestly take us 30 minutes and it would be dark by then, which would be a real bummer. So early camp, good day. Look at my Jackson Pollock shirt. Um, let's see if I can get you the angles. Don't know how to. But yeah, it is just full salt stains. That's that good life. All right, day 10. Day yeah, day 10. Good stuff. All right, I took the shirt off so you could see the fullness of it. This is the last clip of the day. It's standing up on its own. Yeah, that is very, that's not supposed to be that type of material. Look at those salt stains, wow. All right, that's the last clip. It's like a Jackson Pollock of sweat. <laughs> 